Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to section 7.4, Solving Logarithmic Equations and Inequalities. We're going to start things off with the first vocab word, logarithmic equation, and that is an equation that contains one or more logarithms. Nothing too mind-blowing, so let's jump right into things. We're asked to solve each equation with number one. Here we have the log. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please be very careful here. We have a log equals just nothing over here. How do we get rid of that log? Please remember that we take this small 8, swing it over, bump that 4 thirds up so it's going to be a big 8, and then you're going to have it to the exponent, all right? This 4 thirds is going to be an exponent. That is an exponent of 4 thirds, and that equals x. Now it looks bad, but all you have to do is hit 8, and then caret, and then please put in parentheses 3 slash 4 or 3. Uh, 3 fourths as a fraction, and you get x equaling 16. Number two, same situation. We have a log here, but not a log over here. So what do we have to swing over? We have to swing over that x, bump up the 3. So it's going to be x cubed. That 3 is an exponent. That's going to equal now 27. How do I get rid of the cube? I have to take the cube root of it. Please remember when you punch it into your calculator that you're using the nth root button and you're hitting that 3. So after you do that, you get 3 equals x. Try a couple more here with number 3. Same situation. We have a log here, not a log here. So when that happens, we have to swing the b over and bump the 2 up. We bring down the 64, that equals b squared. How do you undo that square? You have to square root. Now, now we're square rooting both sides. So it's going to be 8 equals b. With 4, we have the same situation. We are swinging over the x, bumping up the 3 halves. So it's x to the 3 halves. That's going to equal 27. Now here though, ladies and gentlemen, how do we get rid of this 3 halves? Well, we can multiply it by the reciprocal of 3 halves, which is 2 thirds. And you're taking that exponent times 2 thirds. So I'm going to multiply this, or take that exponent times 2 thirds. All right? That is 2 thirds that I'm taking 27 to. So in your calculator, you're going to go 27 caret 2 thirds. And that's going to give you... 9, that equals x. So 9 equals x for our answer. To 5. Now when we have logs on both sides, you'll like these guys. When we have logs on the both sides, and please make sure that they are the same sort of log, we can just cancel them out and then drop down what's inside and set that equal to each other. 3x minus 6, and that equals... 2x plus 1. Solving this, I'm going to subtract the 2x over to the other side. And so it's going to be x minus 6 equals 1. Add the 6 over, x equals 7. Now before we square it up and say that's our answer, we have to plug that 7 to check our answer to make sure it works. So when we check, we go 3 times 7 minus 6, and that's going to equal 2 times 7 plus 1. Here we have 21 minus 6, and then 14 plus 1, and that's 15 equals 15. Yes, that equals the same thing, so x equals 7 is our guy. Here was 6. Again, first thing we have to do, make sure that they are the same logs. Once they are the same logs, we can cancel them off, and then go x squared equals a negative 6x minus 8. Now, we have an x squared. When we have this x squared term, ladies and gentlemen, get everything to the same side. So I'm going to add the 6x over here. x squared plus 6x, and then plus 8 equals 0. Now, remember with our square terms, what do we have to do? It's everybody's favorite f word. You have to factor. Multiply up to 8, add up to 6. So it is x plus 4, and then x plus 2, because 2 times 4 gives me 8, that equals 0. Answers then would be x equals a negative 4, x equals a negative 2. Let's try some of these. 
here with negative 4. If I plug negative 4 in for my x's, just my x's, I have negative 4. That is going to be squared. That equals negative 6 times negative 4. Whoops, two negatives right there. Negative 6 times negative 4 minus 8. 16 equals 24 minus 8. 16 equals 16, so negative 4 does work. How about 2? Let's try the same thing with a negative 2. So I have negative 2 over here. I have negative 2 squared equals negative 6 times negative 2 minus 8. I have 4 equals 12 minus 8. I have 4 equals 4. That checks out. So x also equals negative 2. So both of these solutions do work. Today, ladies and gentlemen, you will find that some of your solutions do not work. So make sure you please check those. 7. Now we're solving an inequality, but nothing changes. The equation, or the equal sign, now switches to an inequality. Log here, no log here. So what do you do with this 6? Bump it over. Bump the 3 up. So it's 6. Bumped up the 3 to an exponent. So now x is greater than 6 to the 3rd. X now is greater than, you punch 6 to the 3rd in your calculator, you get 2, 1, 6 for your final answer. Jumping to 8, now we have the same situation, but now with logs on both sides, with logs on both sides, what can we do? Just cancel them off. We are left with X plus 2 is greater than or equal to 6X minus 3. We simplify this jargon. Subtract the 6x over. You could subtract this x over, but I'm going to subtract the 6x just to show us a little bit reminder. So I'm subtracting the 6x here and here to get negative 5x plus 2 is greater than or equal to a negative 3. Subtract the 2 over the other side. Negative 5x is greater than or equal to negative 5. Ladies and gentlemen, what am I dividing by? I am dividing by a negative. When I divide by a negative, when I divide by a negative, when I divide by a negative, I have to switch my sign. Please remember that you have to switch your sign. And x is less than or equal to 1 for our final answer. Now, could you check this? Absolutely. You could always pick 0 and plug because 0 is less than 1. So if I plug in 0 in for my x's here, I'm going to go 0 plus 2 is greater than or equal to 6 times 0 minus 3. Here I have 2. And is 2 greater than negative 3? Yes, it is. So this is for sure my answer. And that does it for section 7.4, solving logarithmic equations and inequalities. Good day.